We're back with building Syracuse. It's been about a week since we've even touched this. Because I've been busy with work and we are going to the Verbo Fiesta Bowl. Play the seven seeded Michigan Wolverines. Let's take a quick check at the uh bracket. Oregon beat UAB a lot to a little. They take on Alabama. Missouri lost to USC in a dogfight. 61 59. We have a Big Ten rematch, Big Ten championship rematch of Ohio State USC. They're, Ohio State is your one seed. Moving down, you have uh, Ole Miss taking on Utah, the Big 12 winner. Ole Miss beating Auburn in the uh, first round. Michigan beat Texas A&M in their first round game, and they play us, the two seed. So, ACC Big Ten matchup. We don't have a lot of stuff to do here. We're just starting the game. Let's edit some uniforms. Okay, let's see what we have Michigan playing in. Oh, ooh, God, no. I'm going to turn my camera off because I didn't know Michigan had these. These are... Wow. Um, how about no? Yeah, we'll go with... We'll go there. Wow. Let's get to the Fiesta Bowl after seeing some bad uniforms. I've never seen Michigan U in those. Welcome, folks, to Glendale, Arizona, and State Farm Stadium, site of this year's Verbo Fiesta Bowl, which, of course, is part of the college football playoff. College football playoff matchup. Kyle McCord, who lost Michigan last year at Ohio State. Leads the number two seed, Syracuse Orange, out to the field to take on the number seven seed, Michigan Wolverines, here from State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. Eventually, the Benadryl will kick in, and my allergies won't be as allergy y, and Michigan will be kicking. Meaning we get the ball. Michigan's better than us in every way. 86 overall, 87 offense, 86 defense. So we are going to have a have our work cut out for us. Ball is away. Haynes fields it inside the five up to the 19. And there we are, coach of the year. between Oklahoma State and Stanford with Andrew Luck in 2012 and then the shocker just a few years ago with TCU over Michigan in 2022 this TCU was here or Michigan was here just a couple of years ago hands off to the left lost this game the Quinn Allen Heisman winner seven yards the defending national champions though here and the set as the seven seed and Ole Miss beat Utah. 
We have one playoff game final, and Allen fighting first down. Look, I realize on any play call that is properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Touch pass to Hatcher. Mari Hatcher makes one man miss. Behind Duke behind a block and gain of two or eight. Ohio State has beaten Utah, or not Utah, Ohio State's beaten USC. We have at least two two games final, and pass to Gadsden dropped. Almost intercepted. Ooh. Makes it have returned with two roast beef sandwiches. Eh? Allen bouncing around and up to the 44. That's a first down. Boy, the defense misses out on an opportunity to get off of the field. They got the offense to third down, and they just weren't able to prevent them from converting. A sausage, egg, and cheese bagel this morning for breakfast. Former Michigan player Dan Valari catches a pass and cannot get the first down on the Michigan sideline, though. Solid gain. Makes it second and one. All in, gets the first down to the Michigan 44. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. I don't know how this play is going to work out. Making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. We get the matchup we want. We do not. We're going to just go to Justice Ross Simmons. He has space. And big gain up to the 23. That's another completion by this quarterback. Another great gain in a first down. And already over 30 yards through the air. This quarterback is in a zone. Didn't really get what we wanted. The big play. And Allen drops it. Allen, gain of six. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers And we're already dealing with wear and tear on the Quinn Allen. Brings Yasan Willis out. Third and four. Go to Gadsden, and he drops it. Thirty-four yard try is up and good. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it three nothing. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Not how we wanted to start. But Denenberg does not miss, and the kick from Stonehouse will be a touchback. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. We'll start with the twenty-five. Outcomes. Why am I bad? That's a good question. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your hand off to cover athlete Donovan Edwards, and that's a big game. And loss of one that time. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, this is what I love to see from the defense is the linebackers are scraping doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have second and eleven, on the back end, another handoff to Edwards. Edwards gain a three. Tackle made after just a short game. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. Throwing a passing situation for the Wolverines here. You see Alex Orgy throw the ball. And incomplete. Now we see a punter. 
Kick is up. Away. Will be... Probably shouldn't be returned by Haynes, but it will be. For the 15. And we're back out on the field here. 346 remaining. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes and Allen has space. Allen does cannot make the first man miss. But up to the 37. Big gain from your Heisman winner. Yeah, and what a patience there by the running back. Just allowing those blocks to be set up there off to the right. And then once he saw the crease in the defense, accelerates through that. Oh, no. Show you oh, no. He has for a big throwing on the run. <laughs> that was scary. Get the first down, though. Oh, my. Because Gadsden didn't drop that one, thankfully. Right where it needs to be for the first down. And Allen gets past the defensive line and to the 42, makes it second and inches. Oh. And off, no first down. Mason Graham making the tackle. Okay, well. We bring out Dan Valari to give us the first down on the run. He said we're gonna we have Yusan Willis in, and meaning this might not be what we want. Offense switches it up here, looking to throw the ball now. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. Big takeaway. Now looking for a big Come on, Kyle. Come on, McCord. Touchdown, Wolverines. And the defense adds six with an interception return. And they play that damn song. a big six potential game-changing play there. Man, nothing gets a defense, and especially a defensive coordinator, more fired up than a pick six. And let's not forget, give credit to some of those other defenders for making some key blocks to spring that touchdown loose. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. This didn't really the return from inside the five. From anything there. At the 21, that's when the drive will start. As well. Here comes the Syracuse offense back on the field. They moved the ball in the last possession, but a devastating end of the drive, a pick six. And, and we have Yassan Willis back in. Freshman back, Yassan Willis, who just... Five yard gain, so it's second and five. Is not. Defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that... Now the Quint Allen's back in. Excellent. Linebacker just sat on it. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. They won everything and they're gonna get it. There's a wide open receiver complete. The tackle is made. They... The offense is now set up for the first and goal from the eight. Uh, everything they wanted is that is going to be the end of the first quarter unless Alex Orgy snaps the ball. He does not. So Kirk, Michigan has the lead here at the end of the quarter. We've reached the end of one in this quest to move one step closer to a national championship. Let's check out the stats so far. We expect the teams have worked through some of the nerves of this playoff game as we begin the second quarter. Michigan a chance to take a big take very pivotal lead here go up 14 or 14-3 up 
A hit and goal from the seven. And gain of three. B. On third and go, he's gonna try to throw for it. Oh, we don't get the sack, but we force a very short field goal. And it is good. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. Well, Cord's throwing two interceptions. And we're gonna just kneel this down. Okay. First play, no game. And it's a loss. Rodden Moore makes the tackle, and well, now it's third and ten. Hawari holds her. Gadsden holds on. He finally can <laughs> catch. Get up to the 45. We needed that. Allen fighting, gains one yard. Mari Hatcher. Mari Hatcher has space. Can get past one man and up to the 15. That's a first down. motion they just kind of stayed in place and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play this Syracuse offense is quickly moving down the field Allen looks down and to the goal line to the two um what did Michigan just line up in Now, I'm not going to complain. What is Homeboy? Homeboy 2. Homeboy 3. And... Uh, Okay, you're you're on tight end. One of you two are supposed to be on tight end. Either fifteen or one are on tight end. What is thirty and nine doing? More wide. I don't have a comment on that one. That was a high ball game. And the extra point was up and good. The PAT ties the game here in the second quarter now. Yes. Kneel down in the end zone. No return attempted there. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. The last possession, they had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Can they find the end zone this time out? On the ground, it's Edwards. Uh, we stop him behind the line for uh, Edwards ran right by us, but we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense going they, uh, down? But I think the offensive line is how well the defensive line does get off blocks. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, 
You throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Third down play for this offense. Third and three, and in motion. Back. Looking to throw. It's Orgy. Orgy throws, and that's first down. And Marlowe Wax cuts down the running back. Second and 11. Another run. And third and nine. Third and nine from, our, from their 42. And it's the tight end. That is been our defense all year. Collins, no game. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack. And two minute warning. Game going by pretty quick. Make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Second down after that previous play. Offense looking to throw the ball. And the quarterback finds it. That was me. I just called the same play I had called without even looking to see what they were running defensively. Offensively. Drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. But they Diamond don't Edwards don't drops that. That he had no business dropping that ball. Lindquist is dead. What? Oh, no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Thankfully that pass is dropped because I was. On a guy I didn't realize was playing, um, the phone well. originally. Third and ten. And intercepted! He fires this throw and is intercepted. It's a short 136 ball. remaining. Got in a plane crash? Ooh. The coordinator's gonna have some choice words for his quarterback over the phone on the sideline. <laughs> As we have a chance now. If we can find a way to get out of shadow of our goal line at least. Establishing the run game opens up the play action, opens up one on one opportunities. Just keep winning the battle up front. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The tight end drag route is the perfect option for an offense looking to scheme that position open for some yardage. Perfect 103 remaining. We called our first time out. Mm. Ford hit as he throws. Be nice if we can find a way to get a big chunk play here. Quick pass. here comes a jet sweep. Well, That's a big get out of bounds at the 29. More than enough. Hadson catches it. We're going to call a timeout. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Well, this receiver has just that combination of speed and natural ball skill ability to be able to come up with play after play. Already over 50 yards here in his first half. He shreds the tackle. Goes backwards. Oh, that's not what we wanted to do. Syracuse lines up quickly. 
Dropping back. It's McCord. It's incomplete that was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. Man, you got to love this if you're a defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time they got to him. Oh, and they forced that incompletion. Yeah. I just wanted to throw that away. Three incomplete passes Michigan's going to have. A little under 30 seconds, fair no catch called. Fair catch it, no return. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. We'd expect a prudent decision here, backed up near their own end zone. Just run the clock out and get to halftime. And looking to throw now on first down. Using his legs here. And Orgy gets and chopped down. He nice ends up out of bounds, though. That's what I love about this guy. Just getting good, positive yards here and continue to just keep this drive alive. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. He's moving out of the pocket. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. That realistically should have been targeting, but I don't think the game calls it. The defense does a great job of taking everything away downfield. This quarterback wanted to take a shot, but nothing is there. The only problem is they didn't account for him taking off and running. So and Michigan calls a second timeout. Ten seconds remaining. Comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps 11 seconds. I'm sorry. From our, from their 47. First down. We're going to throw the football. Fires it to the wide out. And. So a timeout is called to talk strategy. Maybe time for one or two more plays before half. They're kicking the, the field goal. Down. The field goal unit will come out there trying to get three points before What's up? It is good. Right through the uprights. That puts them. Michigan has a lead with That's some just bad clock management from us Michigan has a lead comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays but if you ask me it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive this again has had the big plays the even the best defenses and help you come out on top as kick it off we kick the ball the off here it goes into the back of the end zone and and he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 20 That's a knee. Line. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. Off the play fake on first down. Looking for his big tight end. Tried to press the ball deep, but... Oh, that was good, because that was... The doesn't come up with the completion here, Chris, but I think it gives you an indication of what they think they can do that was dangerous. in the second half of this playoff game. The draw. And... Again. Again, one, I'm sorry. Minimal gain. They're nine from the 26. To throw, it's Orgy. Orgy. Breaking down. Goes to his right side there for the completion. Takes a big shot there from the defense. Oh. Moves the sticks. First down. That's a great feeling when your quarterback can make a throw. Hey, I don't even know what else to say about that. It's good as a touchdown, but it's a lot better than uh. the sideline. Waiting for your turn to get another chance. And big play. They get him down, but he crosses. As this defense has been like this all year. We've been essentially held aloft by our offense and need to make drastic changes. What you were doing in that first half gave you the lead. Let's keep working on it. Well for a gain of one. Second down after that run on the pass rush has pretty much always been irrelevant. On the ground and we we have it. On an RPO. And the offensive line. They were breathing down this quarterback's neck before he could even recognize that they were there. And they were able to knock it 
the play action I whatever it was it just took so long to develop and we were able to take the ball away at hour 47 and a game of two we go quick Allen, no game. Excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own to line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. Trying to extend the play. <laughs> Brought down at the 40. That'll be a first. McCall tries to fly and does that. Oh my god. <laughs> McCord, Kyle McCord has a death wish. <laughs> oh god, I, I always forget that that's a glitch in game. That's an issue if you mistap the square button instead of sliding, your quarterback does that. Oh, mother of a lord. That's our thumbnail. <laughs> we get the first down, but. That can make things happen. Here you have an opportunity to try to create. Nothing's there. Play breaks down. And Kyle of McCord. Uh, he sits back, sees nothing downfield. Damn near dies. It's the first down up to the 40. Justice Ross Simmons in motion. He gets past one, gain of five. Oh man. That was something I was not expecting to see. Ah, uh, LaQuinn Allen, first down, 83 yards from the Heisman winner. Now we have Yassan Willis in. He fights around, gains five himself. I can't no game. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the well, third and five. Now it's third and short from the twenty-two. You expect this is four down territory. Let's see what they do on third down. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great place to deny a touchdown. So they'll settle for a field goal attempt here. He was successful with his first try. This one from 39 yards out. Up. No and good. Tie game. And that will tie the game here. We unfortunately can't. The touchdown off the turnover, but high ball game. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. A fumble the last possession only led to a field goal. Can they shake off that mistake and get it going? Orgy under center. And Edwards in the backfield. It's play action. He's got it on a crossing route. Please, somebody. Oh, man, that's frustrating right there. His receiver breaks a tackle and up to the 38. And there's the handoff. Oh, what a move. And the broken tackle there produces. And a seven. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think they're going to run, maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Makes a quick catch. They bring him down, but he was fast enough to get that first down yardage. The Wolverines come to the line to start a fresh set of down. Oh, our defense just hasn't been very been good enough. First down pass attempt. And Diamond Edwards. Marlo Wax was over in coverage, and he just. The running back sneaks out there. He is a difficult matchup for this defense in the passing game. Man, it is so tough. 
tough to match up in man to man coverage against a back. And they don't get the first down. It's third and inches. And taken backwards, loss of three. Dominic Zavada is coming out to kick it as Michigan will try and take the lead. Kicks up and good. As Michigan once again regains the lead, 16-13. Haynes gets it. And, like, there's just, what's the point? I don't know why I keep returning kicks. Because I just don't see the point in it. Like, you almost never get anything. Allen can't make it past second contact. Makes it second and four. And no blocks. <laughs> Come on. That's nothing from our offensive line. Nothing from anybody. And that's going to be the quarter. Michigan has a three-point lead. I've kind of said it. A lot this year. Cord over to Gadsden. Gadsden first down and more up to the 39. I've said it a lot this year that this team might just be a 2022 TCU where we're good enough just to get there, but not good enough to do much else. And no one holds on to Mason Graham. We only get two there. We played a very weak ACC schedule. Mari Hatcher at least gets the first down and a bit more up to Michigan's 48. This Syracuse offense is quickly moving down the field. Touchdown here would be great. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Allen trying to outrace some people. He gains six. It's a second and four. On to Dan Valari. Valari. Maya Duvall, thank you for the follow. We get so caught up in these wide receivers and their playmaking ability and getting them the ball in space. We get a first down up to the 33. <laughs> oh, Mason Graham. Somebody just block him long enough for me to get past him, guys. I can eight. Takes the handoff again. Allen, third and inches. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this third and inches after the big first half, and he's already at it again. Malari gets the first down. First down, very near the red zone now. Defensive fans getting frustrated. Offense continues to march. As Using the ground game here, tailback. Allen, gain of six. As we get up to the 16. He'll ride the back again here. Uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. Nothing. Again, as I've said all day. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. So we once again have to kick it. Kicks up and good. This is so frustrating. 
I mean, this game's exactly what it should be, but it's just so, so frustrating. Oh my gosh. Well, you guys knew we were going to have this. This is what this game was going to be. I knew this is what, what, whatever we got into the playoffs was going to be because this team just really isn't good. We, we've benefited off playing a very weak schedule. Like our best win was against Miami. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Orgy. Trying to create outside the pocket now. Slides down third and inches. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but man, make the play, bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. They'll try to run for the first down. And they get the first down there. Yeah, I love how the back didn't really dance around trying to make a big play. He knew it was third down in inches, lower the shoulder, get the first down. They'll switch it up here, looking to throw. There's just nobody that like, He's brought down, but not before getting into enemy territory at the This is just one like it's been all year with this defense where I just don't know what to run to make a stop. There's the snap. He's looking to throw. Oh, downfield catch made in the left side. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. Like, we're not good in man, we're not good in zone. Our pass rush ain't good enough to really get anywhere. It's a quick grab. And we could have our first fucking Samaj Morgan, by the way. As we go to the two minute warning, will we see Using his legs, it's Edwards. Great move in the open field. He's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Right, here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Gives it to the back. And a two. For a loss of one. A loss of one, I'm sorry. And they lose yards, and our defense once again holds. Picks up and good. I tried calling a timeout, and the game apparently didn't want me to. We're going to go to the 25. As our offense comes back out on the field. As Gadsden stopped on the route and just kind of screwed us over there. And now we're really in trouble at third and 17. After the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Ford to Gadsden. Gadsden running for the sideline. He does get there. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Now the offense here needs some big plays to give the kicker a chance here. The clock is up. Thankfully, McCord's able to get that one off. Our offense just can't hold up long. Our offensive line just can't hold up long enough for deep routes to. Oh, oh. And throwing again on second and ten. We don't get it. <laughs> and we just don't get enough air on that ball. And he's gonna score on the pick six. Touchdown, Michigan. For the takeaway and the touchdown, that is just. Because that's gonna be our season. 
Well, let's start with the interception. I just love the fact that he got his eyes turned around, found the football, and then has the athletic ability to be able to secure it. Then he goes back to high school running back days and shows him what he can do with the ball in his hands and takes it all the way back for a touchdown. Beautiful thing. And Syracuse will is good. lose their first game of the year, and it comes in the Fiesta Bowl. And to make things worse, <laughs> keep LaQuinn Allen in. At this point, keep fucking Allen in. Are you kidding me? The last quarterback can bounce back if you have pick six in the last possession. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. And it's incomplete, even in a first down throw. He was under some heavy pressure. A really nice job by this defense. It's our first touchdown of the second half. The defensive touchdown. With their coverage. They actually waited to the last possible second to bracket this receiver. And As we, it's been one of those games, all season I've wondered when I was going to get Honda McCorded. Let's see if the defense brings some it comes at the worst possible time. It's McCord. Final minutes here, they'll throw it deep downfield. As Umari Hatcher just. Incomplete, they tried to press it deep, but now it brings up fourth down. Why I call a timeout with five seconds, I don't know. I mean, like, this team is not going to be good in year two. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. That will be incomplete and for a consolation touchdown, but it's no good, and time expires on the game. In these playoff games, it's win or go home. So one side can continue to dream about the national championship. The other side suddenly, Kirk, their season is over. Jaden Manningham, yeah, man who the put the dagger in, focus on the team that advances is your player of the game. Obviously, they had a great year. They're going to continue to go on. But the team that comes up a little bit short, you know, you can see the emotion down on the field right now. They put so much into this. We got Honda McCorded for the first time and come back even stronger next all season. And that is going to wrap it up. Man, we get to say goodbye to, thankfully, because I'm just, I'm tired of McCord. Like, there, one of those interceptions was on me. That other one, the game ending one where we just don't get the ball in the air. That's frustrating. Can we go to the fourth quarter? Let's see. Like, this is a touchdown. This should be a touchdown. Where is Umari Hatcher? Like if we get if this ball is if this ball is in the air at all, it's a touchdown. And we just we don't get it. Game in which only three touchdowns were scored. That ends our season. We say goodbye to we say goodbye to Honda McCord. We say goodbye to Aron Gadsden. Let's advance a week. Most likely, say goodbye to LeQuinn Allen. Man just won the Heisman. And. Michigan and Oregon play. Michigan beat Ole Miss. Oregon beat Ohio State. As your national champion will be. Back to back the Michigan Wolverines. 
and let's advance to the season. Let's advance to the off season, and that's where we'll pick up. Uh, next time. That's frustrating. That one's frustrating. And we're going to take a very, very brief break. Ah, that's frustrating. <laughs>